Today, we are making the ultimate burger. So flavorful, I can't wait to try it. Let's go. Look how massive. Okay, so if you do not have pickles or you're out of pickles, I'm gonna show you a quick recipe to make some nice pickles. So you're just gonna take a little bit of sugar, about a tablespoon, and then about a third a cup of vinegar. You can use apple cider or white wine, distilled, any vinegar of your choice. And we'll just finally add a cup of water and turn the heat on and bring it up to a boil until it dissolves. I'm also going to add in a little bit of salt, a nice pinch, about a tablespoon. And actually, since I have leftover pickle juice, I'll just pour that right in with it. And if you like the dill flavor, you can also grab some dill. And I'll just break off a few pieces, just a nice amount, just like that. And if you want to put some peppercorn, some garlic cloves, really make it to your choice, a little bit of red chili flakes, whatever you'd like. So I'm just going to keep it simple, just dill. Now that our liquid has come to a boil, we're just going to turn the heat off. And I put some thinly sliced cucumbers in that same jar that we used. And you're just going to pour it right over it very carefully, you don't want to spill until it comes to the top. Do a little bit more, you don't have to use all your liquid. Once it's been cooled a bit, you just wanna put on your cap and let it sit in the fridge for at least an hour and this will definitely preserve your pickles for as long as you want, a few weeks. For our next topping, you're gonna to wanna to get an avocado and scoop out the insides. To season this avocado up, we're gonna add in a little bit of onion powder and then a few cracks of black pepper along with a little bit of lemon juice. And of course you wanna add in some salt. And finally, honey of course. And then you just wanna take your time mashing it up. And I like to leave this more on the chunky side so it has more of a bite to it. That's just the way I like it on a burger. And that's it. Now we're just gonna take a large sweet onion and slice it fairly fine. We're gonna be caramelizing it. So now we want to get a pan very nice and hot and add a little bit of olive oil to it. And then we'll add in our onions and we want to season it with a good amount of salt to bring out that oniony flavor. And I'm also going to add in some black pepper and I also like to use granulated garlic. It brings out a lot of flavor. So once the onions are fairly caramelized and they've been cooking for about 15 minutes, you want to take any beer of your choice and deglaze it with it. It will bring out a lot of great flavor. So as another topping for our burger, I'm crisping up some thick cut dry rub bacon. And for our battered jalapeno slices, you just want to start by slicing a jalapeno. So you've got your jalapeno slices. And all you want to do is get them coated in flour. So we've got a bowl of flour and our sliced jalapeno. And you can just shake that around just to get it nicely coated. Nothing too crazy. You'll take it out. And then we're going to use this excess flour to make a batter. Okay, so we got our same flour, about a quarter cup of that. Into it, I'm going to add about a half of an egg scrambled. And then a quarter cup of beer. Any beer of your choice will do. I also like to add a little bit of chili powder. And a nice sized dash of garlic powder. You can always season it with salt once it's done frying. And we'll mix that up. Okay, so um, once this is mixed together, we're just going to take all of our floured jalapenos, make sure they're shaken off, and just drop them right in. Okay? And then you can just take a toothpick to pull them out, and it'll go straight into your oil, just like that. And so the reason I like to batter these is it provides a really nice crunch to your burger that will give it incredible texture along with a nice hint of spice. So you can just take them out, put them onto a paper towel, and just sprinkle a little bit of salt over it just like that. Okay so now that we've got everything together, all of our toppings, what we're going to do is get a pan really nice and hot and we'll just lose, use a little bit of our leftover oil. Nothing too crazy. 
The key to cooking a really good burger is you want the pan to be extremely hot. The grill, pan, whatever you use, you want high heat so you can develop a beautiful sear and crust on the outside, retaining all the moisture on the inside. So we're gonna be using ground bison. I personally prefer it. You can use beef, whatever you'd like. You can even grind your own. So here's how we're gonna do it. You wanna just put it into a ball. You don't wanna work it too much because you want your meat to be nice and soft. Otherwise, if you work it too much, it's just gonna to become too firm. So what we're gonna do is take your ball of beef, put it on there, and press down. Push it down. Just like that. And we already have a lot of flavor, so I'm not gonna go too crazy on seasoning. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of salt, of course. I'll take a tiny dash of black pepper. And we're only seasoning one side. You don't have to go too crazy. Okay, so once you see the juices starting to come to the top, you're gonna wanna flip your burger. And we'll let that go for another two minutes. You can lay on some cheddar. Okay, so now that's been another two minutes, you're just gonna take your burger off. And the key to a juicy burger is you wanna let it rest for five minutes. So we'll just set that aside. In the meantime, we'll add a few slabs of butter. And then we'll just take our bread and just get it really nice and soaked up with that butter and just press it down and let it toast for a few minutes. A nicely toasted bun. We'll just lay it right here. And let's start assembling our burger. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you do not miss out on these crazy creations. And here are some more videos you should watch.